uh, module for today morning which is course creation or content creation online. Now for content creation in the morning I am going to introduce you to the Screencast-O-Matic content creation tool. In the afternoon I will go into the uh, instructional design and, uh, for multimedia but for now we will focus on the Screencast-O-Matic tool. So now Nora and Zul will go around and help you to go to the Screencast-O-Matic site and download Screencast-O-Matic on your respective uh, desktop. If you have laptop, also can. If you, do you, any of you have a laptop? So you can download Screencast-O-Matic on your laptop. Screencast-O-Matic permits you to create content like your lecture note from your room. You can do it from your room or in the lab and I will show you how it's done. Okay, with a uh, tutorial on the pr whole process. So can we please go to the Screencast-O-Matic website? It's on the, on your, yeah, click on the Screencast-O-Matic link. Okay, and then you can download this recorder. It's a free recorder. It's a free recorder. Okay, so it's like this. So uh, we have bought with us. Show them to, okay, show. okay, just show me the. Okay, so shall we show them? Okay, I just show them. I just show them what we have. Okay, so what we have over here, right, is for. To make life easier for you, we have bought along the screen customatic license as well as the microphone and there's a tablet for you to record. So the plan was to fit it in one of in your classrooms so you can do recording directly in class. Okay, so we have, we have the license. So we are, we are discussing how we install it in the class. During lunchtime, we will try and install Zul and I. So everyone in UMS, basically, uh, the one who apply for a screen customatic license can get a license. UMS has paid for how many licenses? 100. 100 licenses. We have distributed some licenses. So when you have a free version of the screen customatic, you can record only for limited duration of time. With a license, you can do other things like edit it and do other things. And all of these uh, material you can upload directly to YouTube. Raw, raw, I will show you how it's done. So to begin with, you can start by launching the uh, the uh, downloading the recorder okay so you just log in first you log in using your UMS mail and you can download <coughs> later on if you need a license we can approach me or Zul so usually we log in with Google and I have my license already there so it won't log in for me <laughs> yeah, so. correct right so once you have logged in you can download and install. Just go through the step. We will give you time. Just log in and download and install it. So you can try and download. Does it install on your system or is it blocking you? Blocking? Is it blocking your public computer? Blocking? Blocking. Okay. All of them facing the same block. If you are not logged into the network, it will block. Is it blocking yours as well? Yes. Okay. 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 So alternatively, right? You just go to the okay. So you know, just go to screen screen castify. Just just Google screen castify. There, open the last tab. The last tab. Last tab. Last tab. The last tab. The last one. Okay. Okay, so if you are getting blocked, there's another option for you, which is also a free recording tool. It's called Screencastify. Okay, now how you access Screencastify is you go to your Google account, your UMS Google account, and on your Google Chrome, you can add, add the Screencastify app. Okay, okay, I will show you how it's done. Just follow the instructions. So basically, you go to screencastify.com. This is the website. It's not on your module. This is an alternative screen recorder to Screencastomatic. Screencastify.com. Castify.com. But if you have your laptop, we can show you how to install it on your laptop, the other versions. Screencastify.com. So this one you can only use with Google Chrome. So you have to add to Chrome. Just add to your Chrome. Screencastify. This one I think cannot install, Doctor. Here, you just use the Screencastify. Screencastify.com. Because you're on a, you can ex you can install. Yes. Oh, Screencastomatic can install. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just the free plan. Just select the free, free plan. 
So if you all can install it on your network PC, okay. But if you cannot install, you'll have to use Screencastify. If you can, you use only one, otherwise it will clash with the other. It's funny, close. You can use any one. You can record, Doctor. That can record. It allows you to record some time. Fifteen minutes, yeah. Is there a time limit for your free version? <coughs> if you have problem, you call me. I will. You can use any one tool. It's the same thing. It does the same job. Screencastify also. You want to use so uh, you uh, log in first. Sign up. You have to log in first. Using uh, log in. Log in or sign sign up. Sign up. You have not. Oh, you can. If you are logged into your MS, you can just. Uh, login with login. Okay, but if I want to sign up, anyway. uh, sign up. You have to use your MS email ID. You can sign up directly with Google, which is your your MS ID. Can we use the other email? I mean, uh, not, you, the, not the UMS. You can use, but if you go for the when if if you ask Zool for the license version, doctor, then again it will become it won't it will create conflict. Oh. Uh, because it's not your MS. So that's why we use the UMS. Uh, that's why we use UMS. Easier when others again here to assign a pass key and then. Dual login. Okay, so if you if you don't have time, it's okay. You can do later. Yeah. Uh, later. Okay. So there are two tools available to you. So if you are using an Apple, uh, then you have, of course, that is even more advanced. It will record your screen anyway. Any of you are using screencasting? So only Hafizy and anyone else use screencast? Can install or not? Cannot install. So for screen castify, you can add to Chrome. You can add to Chrome. Close. Add to Chrome. Add to Chrome. Okay. You have to be logged in to your account. Uh, logged in. Okay, install. It block you. Oh, okay. I think your network network in the in this room is blocking your access to only in this room. It, uh, it but personal computer it will allow. You can check for the settings. <coughs> screen customatic can screen customatic. Yes, screen, screen customatic. Download and install. Can because sometimes the network will block your administrator. Safe. Thank you. Thank you. Done? Yeah. Yes. Hello. Not hello. Next. Hmm. You know, thank you. Luckily, it can install. Thank okay. you. So, what exactly? So, we'll go into the actual demonstration of. Screen Customatic. Screen Customatic is a tool which allows you to record directly from your screen. You can record everything on your screen. Okay, so you can record the. Okay, so it helps in two ways. One is as lecturer, you can record your lecture note. Secondly, if you are a programmer and you want to teach coding, you can ask people to modify code using that Screen Customatic. This is very uh, difficult. Go to line 108 and go to uh, character number so and so and. It's difficult for a programmer. So when you use the screen customatic, you can directly instruct your students. Generally for bioinformatics or coding, I ask them to uh, give me a demo of their code and then I correct their code directly. So it's very easy to control your class with screen customatic. Okay, so how it's done is like this. So once you install screen customatic, it will basically have a record button and it will record whatever is on your screen. Okay, it will record whatever is on your screen. So, Zul, you can pull up the lecture, the le pull up any lecture, any just uh, any lecture note from my the slide. Just it's on the main drive only. The same Google Drive lecture, and uh, the same same Google Drive lecture. And uh, that one, okay, Genius. Okay, 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 okay. So, so this take the example of this. This is actually a Google uh, content which I'm going to give as a lecture later on. So I want to record it for my students as a pre as a flipped classroom. The flipped classroom concept is you record your lecture before the class, give it to the student, let them listen to the lecture, and you come to class. They come to class, and there you teach them some exercise, give them some application of your lecture content. So this is a lecture I want to record. So now, as you can see, we are using Screencast-O-Matic. Zul is sitting in front of the PC. 
Okay? So suppose you want to use your webcam in the class, you can actually turn it around and you can see yourself also on the PC. Okay? So you can do a live recording if you want the PC to empathize with the, if you want the non, you, usually what we do is the people who are not in the class, we want them to feel they are in the class, so we turn it around for classroom usage. <laughs> actually, there's no need for this, but it is just for the sake of, uh, the student doesn't have to see your face when you do, do the lecture, but because sometimes the human uh, cognition cannot relate when you see only a lecture and a voice. So you need to show your face sometimes. If you don't want to turn, show your face, you can turn off, just turn off. So he can turn off the video. So if you are self-conscious and don't want to show your face in the video, or you are afraid of some people misusing your video, then don't show your face, okay? That is up to your choice. But the voice is required to overlay the lecture. Okay, so let's look at a recording. So put your face on, or you can do full face, do full face. Okay, you can also get full face, okay? The full face of the lecture. <laughs> <laughs> but then you have to do some. <laughs> I don't know. I never use, not use usually. Okay, so generally it's uh, used in a small format, the small format video, the video. Okay, let's see how we record the lecture. Okay, so Joel, you can start recording. So just start, yeah. record, and then press present first, record. Okay, three, two, one, it will set up. Okay, now you can click present. Okay, click present. Okay, now this will basically be your lecture note. So you record your lecture in the class. You don't have to worry about recording at home. If you want to record at home, you can, but you'll have to use under 15 minute to 30 minute to record. So when you present your lecture, right, generally we have two style of lecturing in class. One is we speak impromptu. We just go to the class and we say, this is the analogy of this and this, and then we make some jokes in the middle and all that. So that's the way the lecture is done in normal two hour class. But when we do this kind of lecture for this, it has to be very focused on what you are saying. That's why many times I have to record two, three times the same lecture because you become conscious of your language, your speaking. And then when you say, uh, uh, and then after it again, you want to re-record it. So maybe sometimes, so because this is what you present. And usually for this kind of lecture, they, they usually recommended time is only 10 minutes, maximum 10 minutes, usually five minutes or 10 minutes, because after 10 minutes, the student will lose retention in the, on the YouTube video. In the class, okay, they can retain because you're moving around, you're inter interacting, but on video, usually 10 minutes is the limit. 10, 7 to 10 minutes. So now this is the lecture, Zulu will record it, and now you just click stop recording at any time. Okay, stop recording. And then you just, uh, done, it's done. Okay, now this lecture is now ready for upload to YouTube or any channel. So suppose it's a commercial lecture, for example, you are teaching plumes, course, don't put on YouTube. Don't put, don't, because when you put, post it on YouTube, basically everyone can access. You have to store it in your repository. If you are po posting it on YouTube for general lecture, you just post to YouTube. Can you see the icon down there? So it asks, upload to YouTube, upload to database. The reason why we use YouTube is because YouTube is accessible globally, whereas our other databases may not be accessible globally. Okay? So you can see, Zul, you can run the video of the lecture again. Uh, so, so now you can see the video, Zul recorded it as such. So my voice will be overlaying on the lecture content itself. Okay, so, and so on and so forth. Then you record. Okay, is it clear how you record the lecture? So, now you record the lecture, right? I will demo to you the next part, which is uploading it onto YouTube. So I will go to the previous lecture, which I made this morning. So Zul will show the lecture, the previous database. Close, close to the Okay, so in the morning, I recorded a lecture here, just here, just to show you how e easy it is. When you went for your tea break, I actually made a lecture uh, with, uh, of course, with existing lecture note, and I recorded it. Now, when I want to upload to YouTube, click on YouTube, <coughs> and then you click on publish. Okay, so you can publish under your name or my name, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you can click on my name. And then just allow. Okay, so when you want to upload any video on YouTube, make sure that you do it from the UMS YouTube account, not from, not from your personal YouTube account. There's a reason for this because the personal account is not linked to webometric data, but our UMS YouTube account is linked to our webometrics data. So if you publish in personal, it will not show up on the UMS, uh, what you call the, the data. Okay, so it's done. So now you click done. So, it, it, so it's done and you publish. 
okay? It's uploading, so what the uh, Screencast-O-Matic does, it integrate the voice and the video in one format to upload it. And you can separate, of course, because the editing tool, if you have the paid version, you can upload, you can edit the tool. Okay, so after it uploads, I need to show you the YouTube setting for any video. So it will take some time. Can you try on your own if you can do? Can you try and make a small video while waiting for the upload? Just try and make your content. You can just make a content in 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Just anything. Just record your screen. It's, it's okay. Just wait for a while while it uploads. How many minutes? 7 minutes. 7 minutes. some time to record the video on the screen. <coughs> you can move, can move the camera to the recording. H5P will take a long time. H5P requires time to do because I have to go to, I have to start in the evening with instruction design in H5P. H5P will take time because H5P needs to be, they need to, how do you say? How come it takes long, isn't it? Upload, upload, upload takes long. So usually YouTube video upload very fast. Oh, using Wi-Fi, not using. Yeah. Okay. You give your name to Zul and me, then we will give you the li we'll give you a key, the pass key for the license. The the key is actually linked to your UMS account. So once you have your account, he he's the administrator for the account. You can give your email and your to Zul. Just email him, Zul Fadli, Zul Fadli Nasir. Just email. He will. Uh, yeah, always your own YouTube account. Your your own. It's in. It's it's already linked in your UMS. In UMS. Okay, go to your Gmail. I will show you how. Go to your Gmail. Your Gmail is online. Uh, just click your Gmail. So, what is your subject area? Uh, uh, click, uh, click there. Click. Uh, just click on this. This one. This uh, There is your YouTube account with YouTube. Go down. Show more. More more. Uh, there. That's your YouTube account. It's all linked to you. <laughs> so, you, when you want to upload here, you click there on your face, click on your face, yeah. uh, and then you or you can add video, your channel, your channel there, yeah, your channel, yeah. you don't have anything on your channel because you didn't add, and then you can, this one, uh, this one, this one. Is camera, add, oh. plus, <laughs> you, mean you, you can do straight away, oh, so it is. you can do live video, but don't do live video because it's hard, uh, you didn't know about it, actually all, everybody has a YouTube account, <laughs> So it's linked to UMS because UMS got enterprise. If you have a personal, it's smaller. Oh, okay, yeah. So you just oh, you are teaching that biodiversity. So, uh, so the, for the supreme personality, I will upload it uh, to my account and uh, for my own account. That's, that's account. If you want a screen customatic account, you can ask Zul. He will give you uh, just email him with your email ID. But the only thing when you give the screen customatic account, you will have the 
like I said, uh, it will come in. You you have done UMS account, right? So when you if you want to ask Zul, Zul will give you one. He will link one code to your. He will give you the code, a password. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then you use that password to log in. Then it becomes paid. Paid means you can access. You can use everything. Editing. Uh, you can edit, change the color, remove the voice, patong, everything. Edit like. No, no, you can But usually people don't do more than 15 minutes because long time. See, to upload 7 minutes take long time, yes. <laughs> okay, done? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, right? Okay. Okay, so when you all, we have used the license, we have done the record, we have done the upload. We have done the upload to YouTube. I want to show you some specific uh, query regarding the setting for YouTube. Okay, so okay, just click okay. Okay, we go to YouTube, the YouTube channel, the YouTube. Just go to my account, click on YouTube. You can see all of us have a YouTube account which is linked to our Gmail. In addition to other apps which are linked there, so you click on YouTube. Okay, so that's the YouTube account. You can click on my name and then you click on your channel. Okay, where's the video? Ah, okay. So you can see the recording there, recording number 38. You click on it, you click on the upload. Okay, and then you have to click edit video. <coughs> go up, go up, go up, sir. scroll up. Edit video. Okay, I just go near the screen, huh? So, I just go near the screen, okay? Okay, just. I cannot use this microphone. Okay, so we go to the screen here. This is your editing screen. Okay, the screen which you edit. There are something which you need to change. For example, this one will be just write Ganyas, G A G N E S, Gagnes, G A G N E S. Okay, and then you can just add description. This is for your student to tell them what's in the video. Okay, so I won't add now. Go, go up, Sul. Uh, so now you have your. Thumbnail. Thumbnail means some picture. Usually when we want to uh, create a thumbnail, right, we can create an image using PowerPoint and save only one image of the PowerPoint as image file. And then you upload here as the thumbnail, the thumbnail of your video. So now we just click thumbnail. <coughs> so we can click, uh, just click, so let me just click. You can click, uh, one minute, click here, close, close. Just click on anyone. Just click any, any. Okay, it's okay, that's your thumbnail. This one is your, go up, scroll up, okay? This is the hashtag. Now the hashtag, very important when you want to be searchable on Google search engine. So if you want to use your hashtag, right? Usually we hashtag University Malaysia Sabah, one word, one word hashtag. So this one will generate hashtag for you, <coughs> Malaysia Sabah, one word, enter. <coughs> so it generated UMS hashtag. You want to generate hashtag for your course, you can put A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, your course code, your program code, your course code, as well as your name. Okay? You can add all that as hashtag. So when you hashtag the video, it's searchable on the Google engine. So anyone, anywhere in the world can search for your video. So if you type HG07 and the Penchara number, it will immediately find your video on YouTube. Okay? So that's how you use. Okay? So go down, nothing else, right? So we move on to, this is the important one, advance. Okay. okay, this is where you have to be careful with your licensing because this is where you select your license. The other part is only descriptor. This one you select your license. Can you scroll down here, Zul? Just click, okay, click here. Okay, you'll see two kind of license because YouTube only allows two kind of license. There are other channel which allow more than two kind of license, but YouTube only allows. So, Okay, standard YouTube license means the uh, content is syndicated, which means that only you are the owner of the content. No one can reuse, no one can remix, no one can take anything. They cannot download it as well because you are the sole and whole owner of the content. Now, there's a pro and con of that. It's very good to protect your content, but it's bad because you won't get more coverage because when it's on Creative Commons, the whole world can download it and reuse. When it's on this one, you cannot. So. This decision is not based on university, it's based on your discretion. What you feel is correct. If you feel that you want to make it open, okay. If you feel that you want to make it close, it's okay. Okay. The second option is creative common attribution. Okay. Creative commons attribution is like this. Suppose I went around in Labuan and I use a drone to photograph very nice scenes and I put it online. 
and it's Creative Commons attribution. Anyone can use the drone photography. They can reuse it, remix it, edit it, mix it with other video, but they have to attribute the original source. So people who are doing like, for example, visual art, they will put CCBY because they want everyone to access and reuse because more video hit means more traffic. So it depends on you entirely how you use this two licenses. The rest is very simple. So usually you select the category, usually ours is education, the video language, and all this thing is basically normal. The only thing you be careful of is the license and the tag, the hashtag. Okay, so once you have, so now we'll, uh, Zul will put everything and then you can see save, save. And now you will see the video, you click on the video again, you can see the video is ready. You click on the video and then it will play. So now the video is already online. <laughs> so I can I can introduce it into the website using the embed code or use the link. So you can see the video is running there inside. My face is there and then the video runs in the background. Okay. Suppose you want to uh, share the video, go down. You want to share, you click here. <clears throat> okay. You have multiple ways in which to share. You can share it on uh, WhatsApp using the link. You can share it like a normal video or you can also do what is known as a embedding. Have you all done? You know what's embedding? Embed code. You can get an embed code and then put it directly in your smart to UMS or into your web page. Okay, that's called embed, embedding the video in your web page. So embedding allows the video to run in your web page itself. I will show you in the afternoon session how to embed content in your smart to UMS using embed code. So usually you have embed, <coughs> you click the embed, embed, click embed. Okay, this will be your embed code. It determine your, your code means it determine what's the size of your window, how much, what, where it will play from and so on and so forth. Em embed code is a HTML markup language. Okay, so that. Okay, close.